and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some mono black mid range. This was a cool looking deck from the recent 5 0 list from Magic Online that I wanted to try out. I did change just a, a couple of cards, just, just a couple um, for a personal preference, but um, for the most part, kept everything the same. And one card that I'm really excited to play that I have not played at all yet, actually, is Urox Fenlurker. So two mana, one, one, whenever it ETBs, each opponent exiles a card from their hand. I've always kind of liked these these cards. I've always liked these effects of just getting a, you know, your ravenous rats type thing of just getting your, your two mana, one, one that, um, you know, just makes them discard a card, or in this case, exile from their hand. So that's even better than discard. It does have that pump ability too. We'll see how much we actually use that pump ability. It's, you know, pretty expensive, but just uh, the body of um, ma making them exile something is pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to play that. And then we have some other good creatures here. We're a mid-range deck. We got Midnight Reapers. So we can chump block with the Fen Lurker and draw a card whenever it dies. We got, of course, Dread Presence, one of my favorite cards in M20. And the best reason to be playing Mono Black, um, in my opinion. We got, uh, you know, it has card draw. It has removal. It's just a really cool card. Of course, Chupacabra. And then Cavalier of Night. They can bring back Fen Lurker or Midnight Reaper for us also. A whole bunch of... Cavalier of Knights, and uh, we'll want to be sacrificing. Like, you know, we can sacrifice Fen Lurker. We need to sacrifice a creature for it. This is just a cool looking deck. I like what we got going on here. Besides that, we just got good removal. Um, we have a little bit of card advantage with some treasure maps, and one Karn, and a couple Ugans at the top end, and then Command the Dread Horde, bring back a bunch of Dread Presence. That's, that's a Dread Horde to command right there, is some Dread Presences. So yeah, I'm excited to try this deck, see how it goes, um, and see it, you know, see it, if we get to, uh, get to do some cool Dread Presence stuff. Um, yeah, I like what we got going on here. So what we're going to do here with this deck, uh, with this being a new deck and not sure exactly what we got going on, I'm going to try it just in a, in a league. Let's play a league. Let's pay our 1,000 gold. Let's play some mono black midrange. See how it goes. I should have changed the cover to not be Karn, to be someone else. Yeah, it does. Yeah, Blood for Bones can be kind of cool in this this kind of deck. It does make me want to play like more um, of the. It's not Ravenous Rats, whichever the the one in Standard is, like that Rat card, and you know, Play Crafter. And stuff like that, um, with you know, so the Urox Fen Lurker and and everything, Burg Burglar Rat, yeah. So Burglar Rat, Fen Lurker, put those together, bring them back with Cavalier of Night, and you know, sacrifice them. To play Crafter it does make kind of make me want to make a deck like that. Yeah, Kalia only lost the, the two Field of the Dead decks, and we didn't draw... We never drew Blood Suns against either the, the Field of the Dead decks. Attack! Alright, so it looks like five color Golos Field of the Dead. What's up, Arx Jelly? Thanks for the cheers there. So, due to the unbanning of Ferocity, probably people feel compelled to play more Field of the Dead right now. Could kind of see that. Ugh, we just can't get this fourth land. We're playing 26 lands, by the way. 26. So many. It's been a great time to Chupacabra kill that, kill that Golos. We have so many lands in this deck. We haven't had any luck against the Field of the Dead decks today, though. That's kind of how it's been going. 
We haven't put up much of a fight against any of them, and then we've done well at other times. If I do just cast Ritual of Set next turn, we'll draw nine cards with having triple Midnight Reaper. Yeah, Triple Midnight Reaper is basically death. Yeah, I guess I could... I mean, because we're losing six life here. We really need to play Chupacabra the last turn. Still only one land. We kept a three lander, right? No, maybe I kept a two lander, actually. But still. This is pretty crazy. I mean, we're dead. Doesn't really matter, but it's pretty crazy. I can't make a block there to stay alive. Like, you know, Chupacabra, the three, five. We double block. Still take two. Good spyglass golos. Oh yeah, I could have, yeah, I could have ritual suited, I guess, then I'm not dead, but I'm basically dead with a golos activation. But yeah, I guess I wouldn't be dead dead if I cast ritual suit. I was just thinking about Chupacabra. Well, we weren't winning that anyway. Let's see. So, yeah, I wonder if we want to Spyglass Golos. Kind of want to do that. Are they going to have lands I'm going to want to Spyglass? Like Blast Zone, I guess? Hmm. Just don't have very much stuff to actually take out of my deck. Could play Cry instead of Midnight Reaper. Could have gone that route. They don't usually get like tons and tons of zombies though at one time. Where, like, against, like, the Scapeshift opponent, I, like, Cry a lot more. Like, against Scapeshift, I'd definitely be bringing in Cry. Alright, we're gonna need to draw lands this time. We didn't do it last time. We need to this time. It's a good start. I don't I don't know the last time I chose to draw first. I don't think I ever have in standard.
It would have been most likely playing limited the last time I did. Playing sealed. Hey, Steve goes World War Two. Six months is so long. Thank you so much, Steve. I really appreciate that continued support. Worried about that. Shock's pretty good. I do want to keep the land drop, but let's get Ashiok in play. Awesome, Rex. Cool. Good to hear. So yeah, don't get to search. Because of Ashiok. So thank you, Ashiok. <laughs> and then Devout Decree. Whoops. Oh, I thought I had upkeep oh, stop. Uh. Ah. Too late. Gotta get rid of that. Can't let them just sit there and activate Golos. Um, I think I want to keep this swamp for this dread presence here. Mm, it's not a bad card. No, we got a couple of those already. Ooh, not getting Field of Ruined. Sack of treasure right away before they decide to field of ruin. Ooh, dread presence is in play. No field of ruin still. Could certainly try to machine gun them down from nine, but assuming that they kill dread presence, I'm going to want to find more threats and stuff. I do like being able to just machine gun down two twos, though. All right, so they have the next two turns. They get a 2-2 with Field of Ruin, but then I also get to kill a 2-2 with Field of Ruin, so... Just evens out. Okay.
Glad we have a lot of swamps for Dread Presence, but I would like other stuff too. I should just be going upstairs. I don't know. It costs, takes like six turns to, to kill them. Well, that pup ability is looking really nice right about now. Too bad. Attack. <laughs> it's not nearly as good as Knight of the Ebon Legion's pump ability. It's like Three mana, get plus one. Not nearly as good. Ugh. Now we're land drop is three of those. I will fight. Are you sure? More cards, please. Alright, well, if they just draw a land, we win. So setting that up. So now, it's just another land. Nope. Well, yeah, we still, yeah, we still win. Yeah, we're good. So, because Karn's going to go grab Ritual Set, because they're at four now. Oh, I guess they could have got a gain life land and gone to five. But we'll just have Karn grab Ritual Set, we'll Contempt. The Golos and then the Cavalier Knight will finish this off. The time has come. Couldn't they have just activated Golos? Why didn't they do that? Yeah, why don't they activate Golos? Did they not have black? Maybe they didn't have black and they got that temple which was black. No, just on their turn. Why didn't they do it? Yeah, Golos could activate. Oh, they had no black. Okay. So that's why. Should we go cry instead of Midnight Reaper? I don't mind doing that on the draw. Don't like all these devout decrees they have. And time wipe. 
I don't like all that stuff. Spyglass does nothing against Field of the Dead. Spyglass stops activated abilities. There are no activated abilities on Field of the Dead. So there's nothing there. Um, activated abilities are things that have a cost. Uh, it has a cost, and then it has a colon, and then it you know tells you the reward. So you can you can kind of if you're not sure if something's an activated ability, you can look for a colon in the in the text. Yeah, we could Eldest Reborn people. This isn't really an Eldest Reborn matchup, but there's some matchups that are. So, like, Ashiok has an activated ability. Uh, it's blacked out, you can't really see it, but it says minus one, and then there's a colon, and then that. So, that's an activated ability. So, you could stop. You could stop that ability with that from Ashiok. Uh, that there's no activated abilities here. Here, uh, treasure map has an activated ability. <laughs> Again, it, or yeah, no, okay, it's white text. So there you go. One tap colon. Scry once. So you can stop that. All right, two Gullus is gone. Good news. Zerf going great. And Project Vanner, what's up? My dreams dissipate like Boo. Stop having devout decrees. At least we got two goals is gone though. Not sure if I want to play. I want to play out second dread presence because of time wipe. Yeah, I probably do. So yeah, I'm just gonna draw. All right, kill that thing and draw a new card. Certainly hoping for no time wipe. These dread presences will take over if they don't have a time wipe. Well, that's a good sign that they played their land first. I mean, I do want land. I'm just going to take it. Alright, so we're going to lead with Legion's End on this Krasis. Start here. Get more information. What do they got? Alright, another Krasis gone. So they have one Decree. Alright, so let's scry here. Choop. We don't really need Choop. Kill one and draw a card. Ugh, I'm gonna want to keep s stop. So we'll see if they start nexusing.
every land drop they get a 2-2. Two -two. But every land drop for me, I get to kill a 2-2 two -two and draw a card and gain a life. Alright, not anymore. <laughs> That's how it was though. So that was pretty cool. Two Krasis, two Golos have been exiled. I'll show restraint. Trust me, I have a plan. I can't play instance. Really hope they don't have growth spiral. This could be bad. Yay, no growth spiral. still, you know, just play a swamp and shock the Teferi. My opponent's not playing Scape Shift. I've got it. Come on. Found three of those. Ugh. to get that Agent of Treachery out of there. Not really beating Agent of Treachery. Now what? We've exiled some stuff, but we didn't exile any Field of the Dead. That's tough. They've drawn the three Field of the Deads just, you know, naturally. It makes my life really difficult. They didn't play any Goluses to go search for them or anything. Hmm. It's going to make my life a lot more difficult. All they need is a Nexus, and this is over. I know my responsibility. Oh, I've done the hero thing before.
Darn. Well, I was pretty happy that we exiled a couple Goluses, but, like, you know, right away. I guess I just got them to the Field of the Deads. They drew. And I used my lead. You know, I had a Legion's End. I used that earlier, but it did get rid of a, not only a Crisis in play, but a Crisis in hand. So I think that was a good Legion's End. But then, of course, we didn't have a Legion's End for all those zombies later. All right, 0 and 1. Let's see if we can rebound. Yeah, I think this deck could probably play a couple of Field of Ruin. Yeah, I think so. kind of feel like Field of Ruin is just not being played enough in general. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, Grixis Control. So what are we going to draw? One of our two dead cards against Grixis Control. Hooray. So we got two cast downs also. And really two legions end. So we have six dead cards. In our deck. We just drew two of the six back to back. Uh, that's great. Man, Lava Coil, the Midnight Reaper. Makes me feel like it's last December again. Back when it. Golgari mid range was really big. Just against many foes like you. Yeah, that's true. We do have fuel to discard. To Nicol Bolas's discard trigger. Game didn't take too long to be over. So we'll have a couple duress. Put thoughtfulness before an elder, two, two duress, an elder spell, an eldest reborn, a cry, or command the dread horde. So it's only five cards. I said I have six dead. I guess I guess I'm gonna have to play either sp like Spyglass or Ashiok. I don't really love either card. Spyglass because they, like Grixis decks have, um, have good limit. artifact removal with like the Devil and everything. Um, Ashiok because just exiles a few cards from their the top of their library doesn't like help you win the game.
Ashok's fine against Chemistry's inside, I suppose. Yeah, Ashok's good against Dread Horde, but we're going to be playing Dread Hordes also. So we may just hurt ourselves more in that. Um, from that angle, so it's. So I wouldn't necessarily call it a positive, because we're going to have two Dread Hordes. No, not really, Iggy Boo. I wouldn't necessarily say the treasure map is necessary or important for this deck. If you want to, you know, play it but not craft them because of rotation. I think you could replace them. Like Knight of the Ebon Legion. Play Crafter. Even something like Dusk Legion Zealot. You can just play on turn two, help you hit your land drops. I know it's rotating, but it's like a common. Because the Cavalier of Knights haven't looked very good for us. We just don't have very many creatures for them. So Cast Down, Legion's End, and Ritual of Soots are the dead cards. And let's put those ones in and let's give us a try. Hey, Spell Champ. So, so far playing this, you know, we've only played this for two matches, so it's been a really small sample, but I'd have to say that I, I greatly prefer the Mono Black Control that we've been playing on the channel a lot to this deck so far. This one hasn't been very impressive. Correct. No ceilings. That is that is exactly what happens. Whenever you get rid of the Ixalon's Binding, uh, whatever card is exiled by it, we'll just go back to the battlefield. Yeah, I've I've played a, a lot of Dreadshade. Um but yeah this deck didn't have Dreadshade, but I've I've played a lot of Dreadshade. It's it's not bad. It's hard to to get it to actually connect of course, but it's it's not a bad card. No, I'm not playing Ashiok for their Command the Dread Horde. Their Command the Dread Horde is going to be a one of. I'm going to have two of them. So, I mean, I think it's a... I mean, I guess they have more card draw, though, so it's maybe more likely still they find Command the Dread Horde, but... But no, I don't I don't think that playing Ashiok to take out, like, half of Command the Dread Horde, because it, it only exiles the opponent's graveyard, not even my graveyard. When I'm also playing Command the Dread Horde, that's just not a worthwhile card. No, it's not still on the battlefield. No, whenever, when, like, whenever you, you know, as you're saying, trap something by Conclave awesome. Tribunal, it's it's in exile. It's not on the battlefield. Sarkan. Don't tell me what I Sarkan do.
Fendlerhurs are pretty cool. Takes out a Sarkin and a Lava Coil. <laughs> I liked him. What's up, 619? So yeah, another Nickel Bolus would make us discard this other Ugin. That would be really bad, but I'm still... I'm playing my lands out because I want to be able to, you know, just top deck a land, play it, play Ugin. But I'm certainly hoping for... No more Ravagers. Well darn. Well darn. Get him, Fenlurker. Alright, nothing else to do over here but pet the cat. Well, we wait on our opponent to do stuff. Presence is not, you know, playing the two creatures here, if they have, like, Ritual of Soot, Cry of the Carnarium, Presence doesn't die to those. Could have just got rid of Chupacabra, or could have just played Chupacabra, but I think the Presence is more valuable. They're doing that just for a Chump Blocker. Give me back my Fen Lurker. Okay. Game number three. <laughs> that should be Hawkeye's Halloween costume. Where, are you? Where is he at anyway? He must be up on the bed. I don't see him in here. Yeah, we got some good decks today. Sultai Flash is one that the people have been asking for me to play again, so we got that up fourth. And I like me some Teamer, Bio Essence Hydra. It's an underrated card right there. Hmm. Kind of want to just mulligan this, honestly. Yeah. Cool. This is better. Uh, they got a good start here. With Ascanta. So do I even do I upkeep Scry or do I just play Reaper? 
I think I'm maybe supposed to just play Reaper. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go Reaper. War boss. Was not expecting that one. Talking about Dreadshade, Simon. I've played. Um, yeah. Well, no, I don't know. Our opponent wasn't playing Grixis aggro at all. Uh, we, you know, basically didn't see any creatures the first two games, besides Nickel Bull as the Ravager. Like they were playing like full on control, but now it's suddenly Grixis aggro. Yeah, they're just going with the Ritual of Set Legion War Boss combo. As Kant is there to save them, though. Yeah, like, this was like all Planeswalkers and Sarkin and stuff. I know 88 ways to defeat you. Pick one. A little bit ago. Um, but, but anyway, yeah, I played a a good amount of Dreadshade before and it's it's definitely okay there's nothing wrong with it what i'm gonna do about this kefnet Meditate and prepare. Darn. That's a good card. Hmm. No, this isn't a very good trade for me, but just gets you know gets that creature out of there, and then Eldritch Reborn will take out the other one. Don't have anything great to bring back, like nothing that matches up with Kefnet right now. We'll see. Oh, that's awesome, Doom Waffle. Glad to have you here. It's going very good. Yeah, good, a good, good stream Tuesday here. Hey, Zed Zedrayan. Zedrayan? Probably Zedrayan. Welcome. I have just the trick for this. All right, what are you doing now, Narset? Finding a duress.
So I need something good. I don't know what. Ugin? Alright, I'll take a Choops. I'll take a Choops. That'll keep me alive for a little bit. Not for long, but a little bit. Hey, Aaron, welcome back. Thanks for the resub. Sub number eight on the day. Only two away from our sub goal. Thanks for the support, everybody. So my, I mean, my best play right now, I guess, is getting back Nicol Bolas the Ravager with Eldest Reborn. It's not, it's not a good spot here. Hey, Dragon. Thanks for the support as well. So we'll update this. So we're at four life. I'd like to draw Ugin. Okay. That'll do so we can sacrifice chupacabra oh i can't draw multiple cards in a turn so i should not activate this treasure cove this turn. That would be a bad idea. But maybe we can attack with the Cavalier Knight next turn, hopefully, and, and gain some life. All they need is a removal spell to kill me. Yes, he said. You said Nicol Bolas Dragon God's the best non non rotating planeswalker, true or false? Uh, I mean, it could be the most powerful with like the pluses and minuses, but I mean, I think the best one is just Teferi Time Raveler, unfortunately. If you're going with just power level, yeah. If you're going just power level, you could go there with Dragon God, um, Ugin, Liliana, Chandra. Like those would all be in the same conversation, but I concede because of like mana cost and like difficult to cast and everything. So yeah, transforming Bolas just uh, it Nicol Bolas gets exiled and then returns under its owner's control. I don't own Nicol Bolas; my opponent does. So it'd go back to my opponent. So we do not want to do that. Phoenix.
Like we we could have used our three treasures for like the blue and the red, or like the two treasures for the blue and the red mana. So we could have transformed Ravager that turn. Okay, not gonna let them flip their Ravager. Hey, Zedrian. Thank you so much. Gonna be sub number 10. All right, I want to uh, scry to see what we got here. That is not a card we really need. So I have four mana. I guess I could wait on and Duke also. Thank you, Duke. We need four more sub goals before Saturday for the 12 hour stream now. So between today Between, you know, today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Good chance we get there. Oh, yeah, I should have named Escanta. No, you're right. I should have named Escanta. I just, I forgot about Escanta being over there with Spyglass, honestly. That would have been a good name, but yeah, so I could name that for sure. And I definitely like with this block. All right, so update that, so we'll say 16 and now. Do your worst. Would you want to do your best? Aw, thanks, Rex. <laughs> Magnificent! Thank you so much, Rex. Gifting out some uh, subs help us get there. Santa Rex. So TI-98, Shadow Malakia, Tally Hall, Random Sign Up, Dakin. All of y'all. Enjoy the uh, subs. Get, get your hype votes out in the chat. Okay. Yeah, I really should just take out the car in first. Should have done that first. We make reveal who we are. Bleh. Should have done that first. Could have got a Dread Presence trigger. That would have killed Sarkin. Keep getting Kefnet out of here. So one of these two 
creatures will die. Come on. Presumably Midnight Reaper, but it'll we'll just repl you know, it'll draw a card with the Midnight Reaper trigger. But we'll get Sarkin out of here. A dragon would rather die than lose. I don't I don't think I did high tech. The sub number is 16 on the day. That's what says the, the storm count there. That's what I wrote up here. I don't think I missed any. What would they draw that they're not going to play Rekindling Phoenix? Like instant speed removal. Or just planning on activating as Kanta. Could be Chemist's Insight. Cavalier of Night and Ugin is an awesome combination. You know, like sacking like the, the token and everything. That is a pretty awesome combination. Nothing is ever true. I don't want my other Ugin to be gone for good. Bunch of good cards so far that we've gotten. Yurok. Fen Lurker. That's a good one. I would like that card, please. Exile. Hey, there you go, Budacris. Finally worked. Got that out there. Thanks so much. Now I counted you yesterday, but oh, we'll count you again today. Got that notification going. So it is insight. So I feel like they should just be insighting on their turn because maybe they hit like a land drop that they can play. I don't know. Or they would have drawn that Thought Erasure they could have played. I don't know if I had any cards in hand though, to be honest. Tash. This one's looking great for us. Looks like we're about to be one and one. I mean, we have just a ton more mana than they do. Five. We have five creatures, they have zero, we have two planeswalkers. And we have the same number of cards in hand. And all of our cards in hand are, are gas. Remember when we were at four and we thought we were gonna die? Then we found that Cavalier Knight. That was a perfect card to find there.
Uh, possible there, high tech. For Eldrazi Tron being tier one, definitely possible. Let us fight. That didn't look like a very impactful command, the Dread Horde, but I guess it's better than just playing one of those other cards, I suppose. I don't know. Oh, that's true. We could have killed them with the Dread Presence. That would have been a fun way to win. Alright, one and one. It's a good hand to keep. Let's draw some swamps. That's not a swamp. That costs a lot of swamps to play. Ugh. Almost got to play our horror. Right, exile one of those cards. This Fenlurker card's been pretty impressive so far. Alright, Esper Control. Disfigure. It's a good anti fen lurker. Uh, just wait a moment. Card there. Pretty nice, just exile on a couple lands. Keep an open mind. Guy's wrath. No. The poor fin lurkers. All right, well, they still traded three for two and got a Narset off the battlefield. Why... What? What are they doing? Why would they not cast Disfigure? Disfigure kills the 3-2. I have a 3-3 in hand. Why would they use the thing that does 3 damage to kill the 3-2 when they have a Disfigure in hand? I don't get it. Sure, I guess like they their backup card they knew you know that they had was another Oath of Kai, I guess, but even still, like could just use that disfigure. Wow. They're totally not punished though for keeping that disfigure. Just have another Midnight Reaper for them.
Sorry I'm late. Let's try this. Or they could just disfigure this and bounce the Othakaya. For sure, do it that way. It's been a long time since I've gone to any uh, concert, you know, any show, any live show, honestly. It's been a few years. I don't recall the last one that I went to. Alright, so we know the Midnight Reaper, you know, dies to this disfigure. Let's let's start working this treasure map. I've got I haven't gone to very many concerts in my life. Okay, I'll take that. I want this extra land drop so I can cont contempt and get this to ferry out of here and still work on this treasure map so we can get it flipped next turn. Nah, I don't want you. Alright, it's got to set this stop now. If we would have kept the card, then we would not have needed to keep the stop. That's a good one. I will get a curious choice. Cavalier Knight and Ritual of Sit. That's an easy, easy call for the opponent. <laughs> Thanks, Luna. What was lost is now returned. Now returned. Undo. Mono black decks are fun. Yeah, good call there, Cat Earth Society. That if I just wanted to play the Othakayas, I shouldn't look too into why they took a specific line. Well chosen. Thank you. That was well chosen. Just get rid of those two cards, and then we draw a spell here. Dang. Never mind. That's a great card for him. Citadel can be tough to beat. I am not Dennis with a Twitch Prime sub. Welcome, Dennis. Thank you so much for that support. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Okay, well, with them tucking, we don't really necessarily need to contempt immediately. We can... Hmm. 
It's not really even worth it to... Alright, never mind, we're going to. It's not really even worth it to try to, like, just go for the attack on Teferi first, because we know they'll disfigure and they just get the Othakaya trigger. If Othakaya wasn't there, I would have waited a second. Alright, well, I want to draw Cavalier of Night. Oh my gosh. We had so many dead cards in a row there. So I want to do that before activating Karn. I wanted just to draw that card. Man, so many dead cards in a row. I think it was two lands, and then Karn ticked up for two lands, then another land, so that was five. And then Ritual so land, so six, seven. And then, you know, if you don't count that Cavalier of Night, which was talked, right then it was Legion's stage. End land. So eight, nine. So we had nine nine cards in a row. There's either land or some dead Reverse. removal spells so far. I'm known for my excellent timing. I mean, we had a lot of card advantage, but <laughs> when the nine in a row just this were not cards that mattered a bad idea. at all. Makes it a little tough. The past, present, and future put thoughtfulness before action. And Stronghold doing, or Citadel doing its thing. Could have gone better for us. We should discuss our differences. We should have a citadel in our deck. Trust me, you'll thank me later. You need to slow down. <sighs> this is a pretty fair turn. <laughs> Alright, ten in a row. Lands are dead removal spells. Ten in a row. All right, we'll cut those. So we have a little bit more for this matchup than what we had against Grixis because we get to play Noxious Grasp here. And I guess I just play that instead of Chupacabra. The, the Cavalier of Knights didn't look spectacular, though, either. Because they never died. I just always get bounced. They are very easy to bounce. I'll 
Take out one and one. Take out one troop, one cavalier, ninth. Okay, game number two. That one looked really good for us for a while. But Bola Citadel grind us, grinded us down. Play first. Keep. Okay. So the thing about playing treasure map now is they don't get to thought erasure it away. So yeah, let's let's play it. Yeah, this this list was was uh, a 5-0 list from Magic Online that I I just changed just like two or three cards. I like, like one card in the main and two in the sideboard, I think, just for some personal preference kind of things. Um, but, yeah, there weren't any Knight of the Ebon Legions in it. Which I could kind of see either way. Like Knight's a really powerful card, especially on, at its mana cost. It is a more aggressive than what a lot of the decks doing though. So you can play Dread Presence, draw a card, or play Fenlurker. I'm going to do Dread Presence, draw a card. Because this lets me <clears throat> play the Swamp from my hand. And we don't have any guarantee of future Swamps currently. Don't need that one. Hold that thought. All right, so we should have a pretty good uh, turn here. Let's see what else we got. First. I mean, as long as they don't have Dovin's Veto.
We will meet again. I do kind of think that my opponent has another Kaya's Wrath in hand, so I'm going to use a treasure to get this Midnight Reaper in play. I, I do think that there's a Kaya's Wrath in hand. Uh, how they exiled the other one very quickly before. That's kind of saying that they have another. So if I, I could have played the Midnight Reaper before combat, but then they're just going to cast down the Midnight Reaper in response anyway. So it wouldn't, would not have made any difference. It was no Kai's Wrath. Alright, well we know they'd they would have to top deck a Kai's Wrath, so let's just let's just go for it. Get our creatures out there, we got another Midnight Reaper to protect them. Draw card. Draw card. Draw card. I know more than you could learn. Okay. Lifetimes. I was going to kill the three four. I was going to minus. So I get to attack in. That was the plan. Going to game three. Ugh, Dread Presence is such a cool card. Ugh. I wish Cavalier of Night could get back Dread, Dread Presence. I mean, it could be like... Like toughness three or less, or power three or less, instead of CMC three or less. Yeah, I don't think Spyglass is very reliable in this matchup because of how both Teferis deal with it pretty easily. Uh, they could have Hostage Taker after sideboarding for sure, and they could just steal my Spyglass and like name my Karn or Ugin or something like that too, and then I wouldn't be able to deal with it, and that's like just a complete nightmare. But even just having like a spyglass and you say like Teferi Hero of Dominaria and then they play their Teferi Time Raveler and bounce the spyglass and then activate their Hero of Dominaria again and it's a real bad feel it's a definitely it feels bad. It's just not something that I want to be doing. Hey Vaporin. I'd rather just have other cards.
<clears throat> I did really like how many, all those Yurok Fen Lurkers that we had last game. I did like how many of those we had. That was really good. I'd like to draw some of those again. Especially with our opponent being on the play, being a one last card. But, you know, keep the five lander, immediately draw land, land. Make that land, land, land. Hey, there we go. And of course, I'm not going to play my Dread Presence and let it get Othakaid first before drawing a card with it. They're out Fen lurking. Fen lurkering at me. Man, if they do not kill my Dread Presence, that would be amazing. We could play a new Dread Presence and double shoot a Bell Haunt. Then, yeah, it's definitely getting Othakaid. Uh, it's just Dread Presence. Yeah, so Dread Presence is basically a 5-drop, yep. Basically. Oh, we, ha we weren't going with the Black Cat. That was our problem. Mm. They went aggro Bell Hunt here on the play. It got me pretty good. Just the trick for this. Shadow Malaki, that was the Rex. With that gifted sub. Well, this game's over. They have Command the Dread Horde also, and they're at 29 life. Excellent time. Let's take it back. Ooh. I wish I had 29 life. So I cannot attack a Planeswalker because of Othakaya. Keep up the pace. Absolutely, Esper is still competitive. Esper is still a very good deck. Yeah. 
Absolutely. And it will be better positioned when Ferocidon is legal on Arena in a week, but yeah, with Ferocidon in the formats, it helps out Esper. Esper is a good anti Ferocidon deck. That would have been very nice to be able to kill Teferi. But Aggro Bell Haunt got me. There are greater battles to fight. I'll do Tuck Othakai, grab with Narset, and I'm at two. All right, so we went one and two with mono black mid range. This deck was okay. I liked the creature stuff that we had going on. I really liked the Fen Lurker, you know, Reaper, Dread Presence, Chupacabra, Cavalier Knight, that kind of stuff. But I feel like there wasn't enough of that. Like, I feel like our Cavalier of Knights weren't the best because there just wasn't enough of, like, the creature rewards. And, like, our Midnight Reapers weren't the best then also and everything. Then, like, the pressure the Fen Lurker can give wasn't as important. I wanted more of that. I didn't like the treasure map, so like basically I didn't didn't really like going treasure map. Uh, you know, like treasure map, Karn, that kind of stuff, because um, we just weren't. I don't know we're kind of like we we're stuck between like sometimes being control, sometimes being uh, a creature deck, and I didn't really like how that played out. Um, as far as the con control version, I, I I did not think like I liked the mon the mono black control that we usually play here on the channel. I liked that as just a deck overall more. Um, uh, so, like, as far as mono black deck goes, I'm, I'm going to stick to that one. But I was pretty impressed with the Fen Lurker and with, like, all these creatures and stuff. And so I've been wanting to play the, the deck that we've called Orzhov Sacrifice. I haven't played this deck in a long time. I've been wanting to play this again, and then I was thinking about playing it today, but then I played I played Kali instead. But I, I kind of want to play Fenlurker in this deck. I may move away from Priest of Forgotten Gods and go, like, Fenlurker instead. Or, I'm not, not sure, maybe, yeah, I'm not sure if I move away from Priest or not, but... Cavalier Knight's just a really cool card that I think uh, deserves some more attention. And so the more the more like two and three mana value creatures that you get to play with Cavalier of Night, the better, I think. Um, so I kind of want to I like I kind of want to investigate these two and, and continue to work on those like a Cavalier of Night deck and everything. <clears throat> so there we go. So that's model black mid range. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there, and feel free to leave a comment also. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.